Hello YouTube, it is your boy B3, back with another kicking graphic novel trade comic review. We got a long awaited one for you guys today. I got this uh, as soon as it came out, a little before maybe. <laughs> but uh, it is the Justice League Mighty Morphin Power Rangers crossover from DC and Boom. Check it, DC Comics, Boom Studios. I was going to read the single issues for this, but I was like, screw it, I'll just wait for the trade. I've been getting more things in trade recently to save money. Luckily, I'm patient. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to read you the back. Watch out, Justice League. It's Morphin Time. Justice League has never met heroes like these teenagers with attitude before. When a teleporter accidentally brings the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers from Angel Grove to Gotham City, Batman isn't sure what to make of these masked martial artists and their highly suspicious giant robot dinosaurs. It's time to call in the DC Universe's greatest heroes, the Justice League. But the League and the Rangers will have to get over their distrust quickly, because the fate of two worlds is on the line. When the Power Rangers crossed between worlds, they weren't alone. Lord Zed came with them. And when Zed meets Brainiac, neither the DC Universe nor the Rangers' home world is safe. Of these two mighty teams join forces, they morph into a fighting force that neither world has ever seen. Red Hot Rider Tom Taylor from Injustice Gods Among Us and Stephen Bryan from Green Arrow bring together the classic Power Rangers lineup and greatest superheroes of the DC Universe in this crossover sensation collects Justice League Power Rangers 1 through 6. So yeah, it's pretty cool. I liked the art. It's not bad art at all. Uh, pretty good. I really enjoyed it. Better than I can do, that's for, f <laughs> that's for fucking certain. But uh, yeah, so here is the story. Lord Zed attacks the command center and the teleporter uh, becomes damaged and instead of teleporting them uh, to somewhere in their world, it teleports them to another universe entirely, where they end up in a scuffle with the Justice League, because Zack is, like, he has a concussion, and he's confused, and he attacks Batman, because Batman looks scary, and I just tooted, and I'm sorry, but, um, Lord Zed ends up with Brainiac, and Zed's like, hey, how would you like to fuck over multiple dimensions instead of just multiple worlds, because I'm fucking pissed off at my Earth. So, uh, yeah, they do that, and they eventually shrink Angel Grove. They steal Angel Grove, which is pretty cool. Because Brainiac uh, supplies Zed with alien creatures to make monsters out of. And one little complaint I have in this is... Um, Zed makes monsters out of these aliens, but they look just like big octopuses. Big octopi. Big octopussies. Um, and... The Justice League's like, are those from your world? And they're like, no, we don't have anything like that on our world. It's like, both these worlds have octopuses. Fucking idiots. But, um, that's just a little thing that I had an issue with. Stupid. It was just stupid. But Brainiac takes over the Megazords, hacks the Megazords, which is pretty cool. And the Rangers lose their powers because he steals their coins. So they end up wearing all this stuff from the Justice League armory, like uh, Red Hood's mask, and they get green arrows, arrows, and... Azrael's sword and all this cool stuff and uh, Brainiac hacks Cyborg for a little bit but that's eventually how they trick Brainiac and uh, then it does set up for a sequel after some big old monster fighting and stuff and they capture Zed and return Angel Grove to where it's supposed to be and it turns out Brainiac hit a copy of himself in Alpha 5 and that sets up a sequel. Uh, will there be a sequel? Maybe, I don't know. I mean they did a sequel for the Green Lantern Star Trek crossover uh, with IDW so maybe. Uh, but yeah, Justice League, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, fun little crossover. It's no, like, groundbreaking book or anything. It's just fun. It's just good fun. Um, yeah, and it's its own continuity, really, so you won't have to worry about knowing stuff. It requires a slight familiarity with the Justice League and Mighty Morphin Power Rangers in general, but whatever. Uh, and it's good for kids, too. I would totally let kids read this. This is a good book for adults and kids alike. Good, good book for all ages. So, um, yeah, that's it. Thank you all very much for your support. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the links in the description below. Facebook, Twitter, etc. If you want a copy of this, hardcover, about 25 bucks, pretty fair. Uh, but yeah, that's it once again. Thank you all for your support. I have comic book collection updates, like haul videos, on my B3 Productions channel. So check out that channel for uh, single issue reviews. But that's it. Thank you all once again, and I'll see you all later.